According to residents of Qatar, the present Sri Lankan ambassador to Qatar, A.S.P. Lienage, has caused many inconveniences to the operations of the Stafford Sri Lankan School in Doha. The most recent incident would be two teachers and the librarian of the school being expelled as per the orders of the ambassador. The number of Sri Lankans residing in Qatar is nearly 130,000. Stafford Sri Lankan School in Doha is the only school in Qatar established for Sri Lankan students. There is no link between the Stafford Sri Lankan School in Doha and the Stafford International School in Colombo. Many residents of Qatar have complained that present Sri Lankan ambassador to Qatar, A.S.P. Lienage, has caused many inconveniences to the staff of the Stafford Sri Lankan School. After the ambassador was appointed, we saw a significant change to the school's money reserves, which once stood at more than 7 million rupees. He asked me to restructure the current board that would comprise of me and the ambassador only. I told him that this was not possible. He replied saying, see what I will do. Subsequently, they came by force and took the school keys from me. In this backdrop, the founder and chairman of the Doha school, Kumud Fonseca, the board of directors and the school principal were removed from their respective positions and replaced with individuals appointed by ASP Lienage. It is evident that these actions are not fit for an ambassador representing our country. I was kidnapped and directly taken to the Qatar embassy. The ambassador ASP Lienage threatened me in front of a large crowd. He threatened me and forced me to sign a letter of resignation. I did not sign that. The ambassador has taken control of the school by force. The Sri Lankan ambassador has also expelled two teachers and the librarian of the school. The reason for this is a rugby match that took place in Qatar. A group of Sri Lankans had hooted at the ambassador during this event. The ambassador harassed us both verbally and sexually. He ordered us to be removed from our positions. However, we do not accept our dismissals. The dismissed teachers made several complaints to the police on the 14th of October and Qatar police had taken the two teachers and the librarian into custody under the instructions of the ambassador. While one teacher was released on the 15th of October, the other teacher was released on the following day. The teachers and the librarian were also informed by the government of Qatar that their resident visa was cancelled by the government. Though many attempts were made to contact the ambassador ASP Lienage, these efforts were futile. What will be the future of the teachers who have faced injustice at the hands of ASP Lienage? A former teacher of the school who has no experience is now the acting principal of the school. There is no proper management taking place. If the school is controlled by the embassy instead of the principal, I do not think the school can continue in the future.